When cleaning cobia, I like to start with the left side of the fish. Um, with my left hand, I hold the gills. I take the knife, I run it alongside, all the way down to the anus, and then I trace it going all the way across to the end of the tail. Then I take it and I run it along the edge of the bones, and I turn the fish around. This is where it gets tricky because the fish is very slimy and round, so it doesn't want to stay on the table. So I come in here. First, I make my first trace mark. And that's to get through the hard skin. Cobias have very hard skin. You could probably tow a truck with it if you are able to attach it from one end of the bumper to the other. Then I take my knife and just go all the way to the backbone. Just like most other fish. Then what I'll do is I'll take my knife and I'll run the edge just on top of the backbone a little bit, just the very tip. And then I'll go ahead, shoot it all the way across, turn my knife a little bit so I can get my fingers in there to hold the fish, run it right across, cut right through the belly bones. And there we go. Second side. Grab good hold right here. I start at the pec fin, working towards the head. And then I go around and trace out the belly. Then I'll take the knife here and I'll trace, going down the backbone, just getting, just through the skin. And you wanna use a flexible knife, because if you can see, my knife is actually bent when I'm flying. And that's so that I'm rubbing the knife along the edge of the bones. Now, always cutting towards yourself. Be very careful, it's not recommended. But as I learned in culinary school, you never cut towards yourself. But when cleaning fish, sometimes it can't be helped. And then I'll go ahead and I'll trace this side. Once I get that traced, I'll take the knife all the way to the backbone and it's kind of by about feel and it's going to take practice you're not going to be good the first time you do it trust me this is not my first one and I've had lots of years of practice get a good grip slide that up grab your meat cut it off now when you're also playing fish Limit saltwater fish especially. Limit the amount of fresh water you place on your fillets. Because you do want to get that blood off of there. Now here comes a really great way of having your fish trimmed out. What I like to do is I'll grab right above the the belly cavity, which is right here. And I get that knife to go right up underneath it and let it slide out. And I'll just work my way. Take your time and when you try it out the first time. My cobia's bones are a little bit different structure than most other fish. They do kind of curve in towards the meat. So you want to kind of lift up and pull it out. And then you can take that part and just tear it right off the fly. Then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna loin this fish. Take this, go all the way down the center. Start at one end. If you look on the inside, you'll see the dark meat. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut along the edge. I'm not gonna start at the skin and work out. I'm gonna start right at the edge of the dark meat and the good meat, and then work my way down to the skin. And that'll help eliminate most of that dark meat and one fell swoop of taking the fish off the skin. You flip it over, almost no dark meat. You trim it off a little bit just by hitting it right there on the edge. And that's, that piece is done. And then what you're gonna do, do the same thing on the other side. 
and right down, pin bones, and then carry that all the way back. Turn the fillet around again. eliminated most of that red meat that stays right along here okay if you ever been to a Japanese restaurant and had hamachi kama which is the throat of the yellowtail Pacific yellowtail um, we do the same thing with the cobia here and in order to get that out easily is that there's a little bone right in here and it's split so we're gonna take our knife and go all the way in it and then we're going to take our knife and come all the way out. And now it's separated from the skull. We're going to kind of bring our knife down. Cut through the gills, where the gills attach to the belly. Okay, now that, since that's all done, we'll turn it over. We'll get the other side. You're right. And we'll get that little piece right in here. Take it up towards the head. Once you got it towards the head, turn your knife in towards the skeleton, and that'll help open it up. And then you can go ahead and trim this out. When you get down to the part where it connects to the lower jaw, all we do is spin it. Take it. And spin, and spin it. Oh, pops. And throw this to, not much wasted on that fish. This right here is what the Japanese call kama. It is a fantastic little piece of fishy meat in the belly section. Way, a lot of ways you can cook this. You can go ahead and make soup, or you can go ahead and grill it by using salt and olive oil. And then when you get done, you can add some teriyaki glaze to it, or you can dip it in ponzu sauce, and it's fantastic.